Yo, what's good, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about jump shots. Um, I know that I haven't really been here in the 2K space in quite a while, but I just want to talk to you guys about Zens. Um, yeah, I heard through the grapevine that Zens was just around. They was hurting the community. Um, I even had to stop a tournament that I was running because Xbox users been getting down and dirty. Now, of course, we ain't gonna talk about PS5 players pulling Ethernet cords and all that. We're not gonna get into all the nitty gritty. But what I do wanna say is that there are jump shots out there that you can use that will save you $100. Now, from what I remember, I made a YouTube video called uh, the 2K Paywall, right? And within making this video, I immediately told everyone that this game is about spending. And if you continuously spend on this game, you're going to get burnt out. You're going to get mad and you're going to be frustrated with every little bad thing that goes wrong. Now let's add Zens to that. Um, what's with the, if you can't beat them, join them mentality. Y'all know what I mean. Everybody out there that's been in the stage, been in the wreck with squads and 5v5, been in the pro-am. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now Xbox users, y'all some lucky motherfuckers. You know, people like me, we don't really care too much about what y'all get into, even though, you know, you can turn cross play off and stuff like that. But man, you're willing to spend a hundred dollars on a device just to be better at a basketball game. How dare you? How dare you be like every other gamer out here who has ever looked for a just the just a smidge bit of advantage. Now, of course, this is not a troll video. I will be telling you guys about the jump shot. I will be showing you the jump shot that I do use, but <laughs> I haven't seen y'all in a minute. It's been a while. How are you? How has your last three to six months of 2K been? Mine? Mine has been marvelous. I, I play 2K like on Tuesdays. Sometimes I, I might sprinkle it in there throughout the rest of my streaming schedule on Twitch. I have a great time. Now you on the other hand, you may be sweating. You know, you may have not taken a shower. You may be in, been have been grinding for veteran forever. You may have been making constant YouTube videos about the same exact thing, the same exact builds, the same exact jump shots, the same exact layups, the same exact dunks and you're burnt out, I understand. I have a little bit of bliss, but I have been watching. Um, I will say there are three YouTube channels that I definitely want to give a shout out to. Um, Double H, of course, Joe Knows, of course, and I will also put Brother Jones in there. They have been going absolutely crazy with the content, making sure that everybody is standing informed and actually giving people different things to look at. Also, some some honorable mentions as well. Um, Y'all man gaming definitely going crazy. Brutal Sim staying on top of the news. All city, y'all been going crazy. I'm I'm happy that the next generation of the 2K content creators are in good hands, as well as they be coming out with some dope ass content and they're good at the game. So I'm cool with that. But look, I know I'm in you know holding y'all up. Let's get into the jump shot because y'all going to sit up here and, and be in my comment section like, oh my God, here goes iPod rambling again. We dealt with this in new season. I don't want to deal with it at the end of a dead game. I got you. So look, today I'm bringing you guys my 91 overall two-way three-level threat. Now, if you've actually watched any of the episodes of my No Money Spent series, this is that build. I have not spent one dime on 2k in a very long time man that feels good to say now of course i do have my other vices i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tell you guys what those are but i have turned this no money spent build into my bum wreck build if you guys don't know what bum wreck is it's 92 and under you are only able to play 92 and under if you make your build 93 overall you will no longer be a person that can get into 92 and under, all right? Now, these are the attributes here. Um, as you can see, it has everything that I wanted it to have. I'll show you the badges. I'll show you what I unlocked. I'll talk all about that. But first, let's talk about the jump shot, the requirements, and why it's so good. 
Now, of course, this jump shot was given to me by the chat. Now, what I mean by the chat is my Twitch chat. Um, Boom was in there, Shanae was in there, uh, Nonstop was in there, K Sounds was in there. Uh, who else was in? There? I think B Mills was in there. Rick was in there. Just, just you know, the 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 subs. You feel me? They was all inside the chat and they were, you know, trying to help me out with a new build because I never played on PG. So with me creating a six eight point guard that's post primary, three point secondary, and layup hat trick maybe I don't know. But basically, this build kind of does it all. But I want to show you guys a jump shot here. Now we have. Three different variations of the jump shot. I call it the Zen Zone simply because this jump shot could save you $100. What I mean by that is NBA 2K, since it dropped, has been changing the game every single season. Every six weeks, 2K changes something about the game and they have gradually made shooting better and better and better and better and better every single season which means i know all my locks out there are feeling a way about you know having to create four different locks because your lock changes every single season but what i can say is the jump shots haven't changed that many times in the last three seasons and what i want to tell you guys about this zen join is the fact that you can go to jump shot creator right and create a jump shot like this now of course the base Tracy McGrady, I know you probably guessed it, Tracy McGrady, right? The upper release is Kobe Bryant and the second release is Oscar Robinson. Literally, if you have Tracy McGrady base and Oscar Robinson in any of your uppers, you are guaranteed to get one of the best, the fastest, the highest jump shots out there. If you're somebody who's six four and under, Use a different base. Use Shepard. Use you, use anybody you want. Use use whatever you want. But of course, you can't go wrong with Oscar. Oscar saves lives. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. I know Oscar Robinson probably doesn't watch social media. He probably doesn't be on the internet like that. Probably doesn't be on the YouTube videos like that. But I just want to say, if anybody out there knows Oscar Robinson, let him know that he has saved lives on his game. You understand me? The last two years, Oscar Robinson has been running rampant. Now, let's talk about the blending speed for a minute. The reason why we have different variations of the jump shot is simply because the defensive immunity and the release speed of the jump shot is something that everybody talks about. It's the perfect balance inside of a jump shot. Now, of course, the release height in A+, plus, you can't get no better than an A+, plus on a release height of a jump shot. I'm just being honest with you. Now, as you guys can see here, I'm gonna show y'all why I have these grades on screen. Now, the Zen Zone is the mix of A plus A, A minus, and B plus. But there is another variation of this jump shot that has A plus, A plus, B plus, B plus. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking. You want that release speed. That A minus release speed is super, super crucial because that's what's going to give you the Zen feel. With that release speed being so fast, those contests that would normally speed up your jump shot and stuff like that, they are mitigated. That's why I call it the Zen Zone because when you release your shot, your release point, your push, your set point, whatever it is, whatever you like. I, I'm not the type of person to say, put on push, put on release point, put on set. I'm not that guy. Whatever is good for you, whether you're playing on delay on the TV, um, whether you're playing on a one millisecond monitor and you want to play on push, whether you are playing on bad internet, you need to play on release, like whatever it is that hinders you, you figure that out. What I would do is equip the jump shot, go into the pro-am or whatever, the 5v5 where you could just shoot around and stuff like that, get a feel for it, go into my career, get a feel for it, and then go out into the rec, go out into the stage and go out into the park and continue to get a feel for that jump shot. Now, this jump shot here with the A plus defensive immunity, this is kind of insane. Now, of course, the bar isn't full. And the reason that the bar isn't full is simply because I didn't want to make the blending any more abrupt. This is the most intrusive, the most inclusive, the, the, the biggest mesh and mold of this jump shot as far as blending goes. 
to get the release speed and everything like that you want to go more oscar less kobe but when you can kind of get them almost the 50 50 it gives you a perfect blend of having the most insane defensive immunity that means all of those badges that you put into your build the dead eye and all of those other badges all of those great badges that make a person that doesn't put their hand up gets there late jumps when when they're out of position you're gonna green in their face and you're literally going to hit up to 63 percent contest now i'm gonna say that again up to if you're a good shooter if you have all of the things wired out all of the information that you needed you will be able to hit up to 63 percent contested and i'm gonna tell you why that is because i did it i did it I, yep yeah, me yeah me now of course there are different contests that we always see on the game we see five we see 10 we see 17 we see 29 we see 35 but 63 percent red contest green with this jump shot no zen no cronus nothing for the free that right there is amazing oh finally finally yeah they gonna leave me over and then why not why not split cat oh yeah i got you this time though i got you this time see hey it's all about that momentum baby Pause, what? Nah, 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 no kitty, man, no kitty. We should've shot that. I had a lot of shot, I was I know, but like, but I, nah, hold it like that. Yeah. You and your sister. We need you to struggle, ain't no struggling out here. What you mean? I'm about to shoot this shit from hell. Flashy. You shooting a bit from hell, Chad. What are you talking about? I got that base. That base is ass. Chill, gang. That's him. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, Chad, we shoot those from hell. Yeah, feel me? That shit don't make no sense. Oh, step through. Damn, they left me open? Ain't no way. I was waiting for the defense too. That's crazy. What do I do, bro? Ah, damn, chat. I shot that bitch with damn near my eyes closed. Shit. Got him! Got him! Pass back to hell, chat! It's my shit! If I hit that, I'm different. Oh my god. Oh my god, chat. I'm shooting from anywhere. With a my career build. Ah! He gonna play out there the whole time? Good shot, Good pass. I appreciate you guys for coming through. Make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And also, if you are subscribed, hit that bell. You know, sometimes YouTube be a little tricky with the Nodi gang. All right. I want to see more IKC Nation and Nodi gang. And uh, I appreciate y'all for coming through to this video, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Maybe we'll talk about layup packages. Scoopies! King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, I'm King Kong, King Kong.